After a 10-year battle to take a white hip-hop artist to the top of the charts, the producer behind Eminem has found a level of success that he could never have imagined. I'm pulling you into my uh, new house, actually. We were able to do this after all the Eminem stuff. This is a neighborhood where we always wanted to, to live. Um, Growing up, we always wanted to be in Huntington Woods, and uh, <laughs> I was able to do it. In 1995, Mark Bass had little experience of rap music. Today, he's one of the most powerful producers in hip-hop. Nothing like building a new house, I'll tell you that. What a headache. But I'll tell you one thing, man, from hip-hop to this, man, that's something. I remember we were sitting with Jimmy Iovine at Interscope when we handed in the record. Um, he said to me, Marky, you know, this is, this is a house record. And I said, Jimmy, it's not house music. This is a hip-hop record, man. This is rap. He goes, no, you dummy. This is the kind of music that's going to buy you a house. And here we go. You know, true story. This is what you can get from hip-hop. I guess you choose your path you want to go on, you know. Um, we chose to turn hip hop for us into a, a whole organization. We have a publishing company, we have a record company, we have a production company, many recording studios. We have a studio on the West Coast in Los Angeles and we have two here in Detroit. Where rap music has traditionally been the voice of the hood, Mark Bass has found a new winning formula. And for those that follow in Eminem's footsteps, has a door opened for a new era of white hip hop. I represent pregnant girls, kids in detox. I'm all about speed knots, whores, illegal assets, drug money, titty bars, party stores of cash checks. We America's worst fear, take heli pills so I can ham it off my first beer. You know what I've asked myself, you know, just in thinking sometimes, like, what if I was a black kid? W would I be better off or worse off? And it's, it's, I don't, I don't have an, I, I, it's just a question that I haven't answered yet. It's, I love who I am, I'm not, you know, I've never been one of those kids like, I wish I was black or whatever. I get the club blowing fuses, slam dancing, fighting, either way you leave with bruises. 54 crews, brand new shoes and tools, mixing juice and the booze till my mind's fucking useless. In the future, Will artists like Paradigm be able to reach the same level that Eminem now enjoys in the music industry? For my fellas that are fuck -ups. Well, in an industry that is predominantly black, you can't help but be noticed if you're white. And then if you're white and you're good, you're going to even be more noticed. He definitely has an advantage, which is he can be on the black radio stations and the white radio stations. He definitely has an advantage because a lot of the little white girls that may be a little bit afraid to buy that Snoop Dogg album can buy that, that Eminem album. So now, you know, white kids got somebody that, like who's white that can rap, but then the black kids like him too, so now you got even more people buying his music. Bring it to me. Rappers like Paradigm, who eat, sleep, and breathe hip-hop, aren't just jumping on a bandwagon. They're expressing the only way of life they know. The whole white rapper thing is always going to be here for me. It's part of who I am. It's part, my whole image is, is about being a white boy, and being an Irish Catholic drunk bastard type thing. It's just that's who I am. So that's what my fans love about who I am. That's right. The prospects for success for rappers who happen to be white are better than they've ever been. But that could mean that hip-hop's days as a black music culture are numbered. There's a risk that hip-hop, uh, with the advent of Eminem and others, can become a white uh, 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 kind of music tradition that we have presented to the world and never able, once it comes into fruition, share the benefits of. The hip-hop doesn't start no longer in the streets because it's an unwanted or unprofitable thing. No, hip-hop now starts in the boardroom. If black men don't start claiming this culture for themselves, it's not going to be there soon. There's always that danger, which is why we have to do 
uh, what we have to do to empower ourselves in the industry. James Brown used to tell me when I was a kid that blacks are in the show, whites are in show business. We've got to be in show business, not just part of the show. The truth is that hip hop today is big business. And that means there are no guarantees of success, whatever color you are. I don't want to ever have to hang this shit up. Um, I hope I never have to stop. But I also am a survivor and I'm a grinder. And if I got to do something else for a minute, I'll, I'll do it. So I'll figure out something here or there. What would have happened if not? I was going to school to become a doctor. I wanted to become a doctor. Um, you know, I think... Uh, I thought I was Vegas bound. <laughs> I still think you are. Yeah, I still... I was going to do, like, a lounge skit in Vegas. Yeah, you that's know. what... I mean, I always thought that that's where I would end up because I, I didn't make it in the music business until I was 38. So, yeah, that's a long time yeah, to I wait. Yeah, I mean, you got, got hip-hop hip -hop producers these days. Yeah, rock producers, any producers, you know, you're talking about 18, 20 years, you know, 20-year-olds. Yeah. Producing so to look at a couple guys records. that look like this, you right. know, is is a little different for hip hop. But uh, right. surprise, you know, right? Just you know, happen to get lucky with the biggest rapper ever, you know. From Detroit's trailer parks and suburbs to global superstardom, in Eminem, the hip hop industry appears to have found its Elvis. Oh, it's never Whether, like the king of rock, he'll inspire a new wave of white artists, only time will tell. For music executives who've witnessed the Eminem phenomenon, it will surely be a temptation too hard to resist. Well, let me tell you something. Life is good today. Um, 40 years old, still hanging out with the kids, still hip hopping, still wearing Adidas shell toes. You know, uh, hip hop and Marshall and the whole community have been very good to us. You know, only in Detroit, baby, only in Detroit. FM 98 WJLB, where hip hop lives. What's up, y'all? I got to get the bush out of here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for keeping Detroit hip hop alive, Detroit. I love you from the east side to the west side. I see you when I see you, unless you see me first. Detroit, what? 313, holla. And tomorrow night at 10 past 11, we discover how Christian rappers are the new antidote to sex and guns in Temple of Bling. And coming up next on 4, Hip Hop Nights continues with a look at the rise of the deadly but highly successful gangster rap.